Well, here we are again. It's been over a month since I put anything up. This vlog right here is going to be a big one. It's uh, going to cover 11 shows, and that would be every show since Octane was on vacation. Since we were all on vacation. I don't know exactly why it has taken me so long to vlog, but it just seems as though as it... Uh, Nothing really out of the ordinary has happened at shows, and nothing really to report or to bring to your attention, uh, except for the normal day-to-day -day octane type of thing. Since you're watching right now, go over there to the side of the website, or after you're done watching this, and click that you watch the vlog. Uh, one person said no. Everybody else said yes. And uh, it's gotten up there pretty high, and ever since I put up that poll, I didn't even do a vlog. So, if you're watching mine, or Alex's, or even Dave's back from, what, June or something? Uh, you know, just click over there that you're watching them. You can get in the forums here on the website. The forums, uh, you can post a, a comment, and then... If you get in the forums here... Uh, you'll see both sides of the conversation. It's not like MySpace where someone comments and then you got to go look at their page to see what someone else said. Everything will be on the same place. So I like a forum a lot better than something like MySpace or something. I'd rather people participate on the site rather than all over the place. You know, you need, uh, one central place to come and have all the information all in the same place. I shut off comments on the vlogs because it was getting spammed way too much. Uh, hundreds and hundreds uh, of spams coming in. For that, so I just shut that off. If you register uh, with the B-Log, you can post a comment, but I'd rather you register in the forums, get yourself an avatar, and you can participate in the forums and get uh, conversations going here and there. I, I, forums are a pretty cool thing. I mean, if, if you get started in it, you'd realize that you'd see. I've been doing that for years. It's neat, I think. That's me. That's my opinion. I have an opinion. I, I've gotten emails from people saying that they're watching. I've gotten uh, people come up to me at shows and tell me they're watching the vlogs. People are asking me, when are you going to post another vlog? Well, here it is. There's a lot of shows coming up that uh, need to be mentioned uh, that people ought to get involved with. Uh, November 9th, they're back up at uh, New York City at Don Hills. It's a good club to go see the band in New York City. They got a real PA and everything. And uh, November 14th, they are doing an acoustic show at Tin Angel. You have to get tickets before that, and uh, there's only like 120 tickets or something like that. It's a smaller place, small, intimate venue. Um, and we're getting back to get, going to some areas that we haven't been to in a while, and that, an email I got from uh, a Michael Scott. He's a regional manager up at Thunder Mifflin up in Scranton. Asked about uh, when we're going to be in the area. It's December 1st at Shakers. We'll be in Dixon City. And that's uh, real close to Scranton there. And you had mentioned something about having an office party with, for Christmas, uh, open bar and comp rooms and stuff. Um, they can't offer an open bar and comp rooms for uh, what you have is under 20 people. And... Uh, it, it just can't be an open bar all night long. You, you're going to have to, uh, I mean, you could talk to the management about, they said something about it. 8 to 10, they could do a happy hour, but it's so much per head. Um, but you can't get comped all night like you have 
here in the email. Uh, so that's that from, from Michael Scott over there at Dunder Mifflin. Um, and 11 shows. Did I say 11 shows? I have to cover 11 shows on this thing. 11 shows. I have 11 shoots of video from all 11 shows. I have video. Uh, for, it was an hour and a half video from each show. I started with mostly the second set on every show. And if, if I put up all that video, this vlog would probably be a couple hours long. Um, so I'm going to try to put a little bit of video from each show and hit the points on each show. And what may have been a uh, highlight of that show, if I can remember what it was and put it up and announce it, whatever. Thursday, September 28th, it's the first night back from vacation, we're at Tom and Jerry's on a Thursday night. This Tom and Jerry's night, no Alex. He can't come to the show because he has to go to work the next day, so if he went to the show, he wouldn't get home until late, then he'd have to go to sleep and wake up real quick, wouldn't get much sleep, and go to work on Friday and be all tired for Friday night. And uh, so he just doesn't go to Thursday shows. Um, but Dave seems to do it. Uh, the Thursday show at the Tom and Jerry's was a pretty good crowd. Nice crowd for the first night back from the Octane vacation. And uh, during the night we got a little bit of what I call behind the music. There's a little bit of, of history on Sick Light from Brian Borton. Drafted that when I came in when we were first writing this song, Sick Like. Man, I rolled in the rehearsal. We had the music half the work done. I rolled in, I was like, I got some lyrics, and I started out with I hate you. These guys are just like. Yeah. Alright. I like where this is going. That's cool. He said I hate you the first thing he's doing. But it's really a positive song about about love. Hey, do me a favor, man. Make some noise. Joey Bass is going to sing you all a song. Friday, September 29th, we're down in Delaware at Bubba's. Bubba's in Delaware. No smoking. Can't smoke in Delaware. Alex is back. House guy Tim. Different time zone. Uh, Bubba's is like the only bar where they give you 10 minutes. Every other bar takes away 10 minutes. Bubba's gives you 10 minutes. So it's a little bit interesting to deal with the time down there in Bubba. Um, house system down there and uh, the way things are rigged up, um, get the thing going and uh, the kick drum sounds really interesting to me. Uh, it's, got a, it's got its own little EQ on it and stuff. Anyway, the way it's set up is uh, really, really, really hot in the, the 2.5, 3K area and I thought it sounded pretty pretty awesome coming through that PA, which is half of the old Froggy's PA, and I went a little crazy with the kick drum, just because it was a little different, and I was having fun with it. You can hear it in the video. There's a shot of Rob selling CDs, too. So uh, there's that video there.
September 30th, we're at the Ridge. We shoot out to the Ridge in Limerick, and it's three sets of octane fun. Here's a little video from the show. And the next week, Friday, October 6th, we're at the Big Kahuna, October 6th. My son turned 21, October 2nd, so October 6th was the first show he could come to legally, where he could come and see Octane. So, he came out to the Kahuna show. Here's a little video of Bob, and uh, in the video he says it's hard to find good help. I think he's referring to me. Obviously, as he makes fun of the echo that I put on the end. But in finding good help, I guess he didn't realize that the next song on the set list wasn't the next song that he played. So, it's not that easy to find good drummers these days. So what are you guys ready to hear Jordan sing? Who do you guys fucking drink or what? Sounds dead. October 7th, we're up at Park City in East Rutherford, New Jersey. House guy there is Ziggy, but he wasn't there. They had another guy, Hootie. That was the name he gave us, so we called him Hootie. So Hootie was the sound guy. House guy at Park City. They didn't have the new stage ready, so we were still on the old stage up front at Park City. Greg didn't come to Park City. He, uh, he was sick at Cahuna, and... During the day, the next day, I guess he just figured he couldn't make it to the Park City gig. So it was just the uh, the three-piece band with Brian singing, or four-piece, if you want to say. It was just Octane without Craig. Craig didn't come. A couple songs came out of the woodwork, Remedy for One, and uh, Jordan uh, debuted a new song. But we'll save that for the Octane's new set that's coming up. Of course, up in Park City. They have their way of doing things up there. It's totally different than any other place we play. And you'll see, see that in the video. And I'll let Brian do some talking there, too.
November 9th, we're back in the city doing an all original show. Back in the city, all original show, man. It's on our schedule, which means most of you should have it. Or you go to OctaneRocks.com, November 9th. We would love for you guys to bring what you did here. Please bring it right over the bridge into the city, man. We need you all. We need the support. I know you guys can do it, man, because you guys kick ass every time we're here. Thank you very much. The scary thing is, people from Philadelphia are starting to come up here because we tell them about you guys. So they're starting to come up here with us, man. Let's get this going a little quiet. Come on. Friday the 13th of October, we're out of 15 North. No Alex again. No Alex for the whole weekend. Alex had to do something for work or something. Or he was on vacation. Or he had to do something for work and then he took the remaining days for vacation. Whatever he did, he just abandoned Octane. Left them high and dry. Dave had to do everything. So here's some video from the 15 North show. Uh, Mike Dempsey up on stage. And uh, followed by... Um, Dave and Bob fighting over the last beer in the tub. They weren't fighting over the beer. They the Williams. October 14th, cell block. We shoot up to the cell block. I swear we left on time to get up there uh, in time, but it's such a long ride. I guess it basically takes three and a half hours to get there. That's a long way to go for a show. Three and a half hours. But I, I always thought it took three hours to get there. But it obviously takes three and a half hours. Three and a half hours to get up there, just Dave and I to set up. Three sets of octane fun uh, in the... Uh, the break in the middle of Master into Man of the Box, and there's a pretty good sing-along for that. You get to see the size of Cell Block as well, sort of. It's it's a very big place. The band plays where they used to hang people. Gino, who normally is up at Park City, he drove over to the Cell Block. There's a video of him there, and Jordan Solo. Yo, I drove three 
fucking hours to see these guys. So, everyone else that drove that long, way to go, man. October 20th, we go to the Pennant. The Pennant in Belmar, New Jersey. Son Jim came out to that show too. In fact, he's been out to every show since then. Non smoking Pennant. First time we were at the Pennant since April 22nd. April 22nd. So they went non smoking, I think April 14th. We were at the Pennant the week after that, which is April 22nd. The video looks pretty good for the Pennant, and uh, so I'll have some, a lot of video from that. And I also have the special guest drum solo person. I have that too, so you'll have to watch that. You're doing okay out there tonight! It's like a rock and roll party here at the Bennett, man.
dude, I was definitely entertained. Like it or not, I was definitely entertained. Give it up a great trip on the drums, will ya? You guys were okay too, but definitely. That was all great, Bobby. You gotta give that one some, right? It's all sucked. Yeah, I'm going home with a smile on my face tonight, I gotta tell y'all. Saturday, October 21st, we're bootleggers. Bootleggers on a Saturday night. Three sets octane fun. I shot some video of uh, me running the board. October 27th, we're back at the Ridge. This is the second time the Ridge is on this tape. So we're there uh, often, more often than any other club that is on this V-Lock. Dave for Halloween wore his old Octane Crew shirt. He went up there to take care of something for Brian and Brian made a, a mention of it. A little breakdown in Master. Brian had seen Alice in Chains and it seemed like it was an Alice in Chains breakdown. We're, we're waiting to start the third set and the DJ kept playing his dance music and the band was ready, the band was ready. The DJ knew the band was ready and the DJ seemed to want to keep playing his dance mix USA stuff so uh, we just started. I'm trapped. I'm a prisoner. Dave, I'm a prisoner. Everyone, give it up for Dave. Dave's a care right? Right? By the way, Dave is wearing a uh, Octane t-shirt tonight. That is at circa 2002, 2001, 2002. It's all, it's all orange. Circa. It's pretty impressive, dude. That's how long Dave's been with us right from the beginning, man. Right from the beginning, he's been with us. It's very festive too. It's like that. It is very festive. It's very Halloweeny. Halloween. Halloweeny. Can you say that? It's like we we just don't have children because they're all the Halloweenies. <laughs> Crystal balls. Shut up.
you're screaming for more, if you haven't bought a ticket yet to Tin Angel or to the bus trip, man, you better be buying some tickets to come to New York City, man, let me tell you. Very, very important, man, very important you guys come to New York City. Number one, because it's a hell of a party in New York City. Number two, is we need your support just like we need it here, man, we're taking over that town just like we took over this town, man. We need you all to come out to New York City and make it happen on the bus. It's a good time. Good time had by all. Every time we go up there, make sure you stop over and grab the all original CDs. If you don't already own them, please support local original music, man. Whether it be us or another band you might know, you might go see. Give the local radio station a call, man. Pick up a CD. Anything you can do to support local original music, many of us would greatly appreciate it. Now we're going to head out of here. Three things, my friends. Come on. Respect. Walk. Let's go. October 28th, Whiskey Tango. It was the Cemetery Gates show for Halloween, Octane did. It was the night of the Greg trips and a lot of Greg activity. You may have thought you were seeing double. The part of the show that we didn't know what the heck happened until later, but uh, if you watch the video, you can see it. Greg, Greg points to his chin. He goes, go ahead, hit me. And he got hit. <laughs>
You guys ready to go home now? Thanks. Good night. See you guys. Good night. Site and you get in there and you register for them and you get an email and you say, okay, I'll be in the forums and you get the forums and you post to say hi. I'm in the forums. And then we'll say hi. Two. If anyone has seen my hair, please let me know so I can get it back. This week coming up, two new clubs on Friday. Top Dog. Top Dogs in New Jersey. And Swamp Pike Pub. Swamp Pike Pub is in uh, Pottstown. Pottstown. Swamp Pike Pub. But all is said and done, there's nothing else to say or do. Wait! Like